and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you book shopping with me in some local places around the area I live in Cornwall. Um, the clips from the beginning of the video were from a town called Foy which is about 10 minutes away from where we are at the moment and it's one of my absolute favourite places to go and visit nearby. It has such beautiful um, shops, really good coffee, a lovely little bookshop to go around and you can hire a boat or just watch boats go by on the river and it's just such a lovely, relaxing, calming place to visit. So that was where those clips were from at the beginning of the video um, from a few days ago but I thought I'd include them in anyway because we're doing a book shopping video and I thought I would share that lovely bookshop as well. Today we're going to be going to two places, to Charlestown and Mevagissey, which are also local to where we live in Cornwall. We're going to go to some little bookshops and get some coffee and there's also a sea shanty festival on, which is exciting. I don't know what that looks like but we're maybe going to catch a sea shanty. I hope that sounds fun to you. Uh, go and grab a cup of tea or coffee or hot chocolate and get cosy and let's go and explore and do some book shopping. <music>
pretty unsuccessful in finding some books. I nearly picked up the copy of Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier because I've really been wanting to read that book lately but I didn't pick it up um, because it was quite battered and I just wanted to find a different edition of it so I'm going to keep hunting and looking around. But I hope you enjoyed coming on that little book shopping trip with me. I just love looking around those bookshops even if I don't buy anything. I just find it such a fun experience looking at what secondhand books have been uh, accumulated in these shops. I think secondhand bookshops are so interesting. So I really enjoyed just going for coffee and relaxing and wandering around. But so that this doesn't feel super disappointing, um, I thought that I would share some of my favourite charity shop or secondhand bookshop finds. Because over time I've found some really beautiful editions or just had some really good bargains and I was just pulling them out of my shelf as I got home and I just thought I would share them with you. I have this really cool copy of Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. Um, this book just reminds me of school because I remember in primary school um, we went to go and see a play of Treasure Island and also if anyone's watched the Disney version of this, Treasure Planet, that was one of my favourite films growing up. I love this one because it actually has um, the price on the back and it's one shilling. I don't know actually when is, when was this published? I don't know when this was published, back when they used shillings, which would have been my sort of grandparents era. So 
yeah it's really cool i really love the map on the back and just the art style is so cool um i've really been wanting to read this book again lately but i really don't want to read this edition because i think it's going to fall apart carrying along with that theme uh we have moonfleet which i've never read and really don't know anything about um but this one was 25p which I don't think you can buy anything for 25p. <laughs> Again, I really love the art style on these older versions of books. I just think they're so interesting. Maybe I'll read it one day, but mostly I just think it's really pretty. <laughs> um, I don't really buy books or have books just because I think they're cool or cute, but I think that's the case for this one. <laughs> I've also accumulated a few of the Penguin books. I would absolutely love to collect more of these editions of books. I think they're so cool and vintage looking. Um, we have My Memories of Six Reigns. We also have one of my favourite books of all time, The Great Gatsby. Um, I love collecting copies of The Great Gatsby anyway. So um, this one obviously had to make the mark and it was only two pounds. And then we have these two Agatha Christie copies. Uh, I think they're both short stories. Um, we have Parker Pines Investigate and The Labours of Hercules. I absolutely love the vintage classics editions of, um, they have a series of different ones. I think they have Russian classics and the Bronte sisters. But um, particularly, I really love the ones that they have of the Bronte sisters' books. And I've always wanted to collect these editions. And I found this one in a charity shop. Um, I think it was on our way to the Lake District. And they had so many books there for like 50p each or cheaper. Um, and yeah, this was 50p which is so cheap because it's literally in perfect condition. But yeah, you can see here uh, the different editions that they have of different books. I just think they're so cool and they have a little quote on the back and they're just really pretty. I actually didn't get this when I first went there and then on our way back from the Lake District, we went back into the shop and they still had it. Uh, so I picked it up then along with, along with, uh, this uh, bind up of A Study in Scarlet and The Hound of the Baskervilles. It came with a certificate, which I won't show you because it's kind of weird that they left it in, but it's got the person who bought its name and address. Um, so yeah, I definitely won't show you that, but it came, yeah, with a certificate for the book. <laughs> I think they'd signed up to a, oh, it was a Reader's Digest subscription that they'd signed up to. There comes with like a little booklet describing the book. It's just a really interesting edition. Um, really pretty. And that was also 50p from that same shop. I feel like I really missed out. I should have bought so many more books from that bookshop. <laughs> And then the final one that I want to show you is this box set of The Lord of the Rings. Um, it's actually missing The Hobbit, which is so sad, um, but it has all of the actual Lord of the Rings books and comes in this really cool vintage looking box. Um, they're from the 70s, so uh, I, I don't think they're really worth anything, but they are really cool. They're very <laughs> yellowed, the pages. And um, oh, I just love the covers, particularly um, the one for The Fellowship of the Ring. I just think that is such a cool design. And I really love the size of them and they're really floppy and they're just so nice. I love them. We have The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and the return of the king these are actually in dollars so they must be f not from england so i don't know how they made their way into an english charity shop but i just think they're really cool so those are a few of 
my little charity shop finds over recent years. I think for the rest of today I am going to read and actually now I've got these books out I'm in that place where I need to start a new book because I just finished reading Piranesi by Susanna Clarke which was amazing and I can't wait to share my thoughts on that one but I think now that I've just looked through this pile I'm really in the mood to read Jane Eyre. I've wanted to read this one for so long and I've always been put off by it because it's not it's not my usual kind of read. I don't read a lot of sort of gothic classics at all. But I, I'm just in the mood for it. I feel like October is the perfect month for Jane Eyre. So I'm going to grab a cup of tea and get a blanket and get cosy and do some reading. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for joining me on a little shopping adventure. I would love to know what is the best or most interesting secondhand or charity shop book that you have found, um, whether it's because it was really cheap or whether it's just a really unique um, find. Please let me know. I would love to see which ones you have found. If you would like to see more of this kind of video please 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 subscribe to my channel it would mean the absolute world to me um i've been so amazed by how many people have been watching my videos and joining along people that i don't know which has completely surprised me and i feel so thankful to everyone who has already subscribed and is liking my videos and commenting and i just really want to get to know more of you guys so please leave comments below let me know if you're watching and i hope that you have an amazing day or afternoon or evening whatever time it is where you are and i will see you in the next video very soon bye